cure for kidney stones. Please, if you've not watched the courses of kidney stones, please watch it so that when you finally, you know, get rid of your kidney stones, it doesn't reoccur again. Because kidney stones, um, you know, has a way of reoccurring. Okay? So, in this video, I'm going to be as, you know, light as I can. I, I, I try as much as I can not to use ambiguous words. My name is Nosmeris and I'm a nephrologinus, okay? Or renal nurse. So, number one, these, there are two ways you can actually get rid of kidney stones, okay? Um, one is through surgery, which is the second option. That's the second option. The first option is through natural remedies and in treating kidney stone or curing or getting rid of kidney stones it is very important to note that it depends on the size of your kidney stones there are size of kidney stones that these things i will tell you even if it works it is very risky to urinate it out so if your kidney stones from the scan that your doctor gave you your kidney stone is more than 2 mm please don't try to urinate it out because when kidney stones stays in your system for a very long time without going now it's going to cause a lot of things it can damage your kidneys it can cause pyelonephritis um which happens as a result of you know stagnation of urine or uh, stagnation of water okay that causes i'm sorry it can result to hydronephritis, pyelonephritis, and then kidney failure, and then even systemic infection. I will explain. I have a video on all these things that I said now and how to treat it. Um, um, pyelonephritis is kidney infection. Hydronephritis is when there is water build up of um, fluid in your kidneys that your kidney becomes inflamed. This is because when the kidney stone is dislodged, urine cannot pass through, and because urine is not passing through. It will start accumulating and then when it accumulates for over, uh, for over, over a period of time and you know that kidney stone is actually um, um urine is actually toxic it's full of bacteria right it's not good for you for you to it's not good for urine to be in your system it's supposed to be excreted out it is a waste product but because the kidney stone is a place where it's blocking the outflow of urine urine will be stagnated and it will building up on your kidneys i i have a video on this this is called hydronephritis okay Hydronephr so because of this build up of um fluid it can uh, which is toxic which is filled with bacteria this can cause um the urine to travel to cause infection it can cause the urine maybe the urine might be building in your bladder it might be building in any part of the urinary tract it depends on okay and all and then goes to your kidneys and then build up there it will now cause infection because it is bacteria so as it causes infection which is affects the kidneys which is called um pyelonephritis infection of the kidney i have a video on how to treat this for people having recurring pyelonephritis i have a video on how to treat this it's also on my youtube page on kidney list so it will infect the kidney and you start suffering from not only kidney stone pyelonephritis and then um, hydronephrosis if these two are not taken care of continuously before you know it you land yourself to kidney failure because when the kidney is infected that is not a good thing that's a, as an infection you land yourself to kidney failure so this is for people that have kidney stones and they are keeping quiet. They are waiting for them to urinate. If you've tried, your doctor says that you cannot urinate this kidney, this kidney stone out. That surgery is the next thing, which I will explain all of those things. You don't need to be scared. It's a very um, easy thing. Okay? Please listen to him. Stop forcing it out. Because as it stays there, it imposes greater risk for you. I hope I've made it clear. This is called the complications of kidney stones not being removed. I now, having explained this, the next thing now we're going to be talking about is how to remove kidney stones. First of all, if your kidney stone is more than 2 millimeters, 2 mm, okay, please, it should not, 
or your doctor and your doctor says that it's too big to be urinated out surgery is the key i think you should just listen to him so that it doesn't get stuck there especially when you've done all the remedies and it's not working if it is 4 mmm and all it is too big it will obstruct it will cause injury before you know you start urinating blood because it's causing injuries it's it's a stone is and that thing is your body you know blood vessels are there it's disrupting them okay so that is number one thing you should know now for people that their kidney stone is less than 2 mmm okay and also this video is also inculcating things that will make prevent you your kidney stones from getting bigger because your kidney stone can actually get bigger it can actually get bigger even when you're trying to remove it it's still getting bigger there are things you're eating that is making it to be you know increased so you have to reduce meat to the nearest minimum or stop taking it at all for now you can take fish especially red meat you can take chicken just chicken you know especially red meat please it will increase the formation of your kidney stones okay so um i've talked about tea be careful you can take fruits like watermelon cucumbers is very beautiful now for kidney detox i have a video on how to detox your kidneys please locate that video it will really help you a lot okay everybody whether you have kidney stones or not so having talked about these natural remedies that will help that will you know treat kidney stones now this is a surgical remedy when people when we talk about surgery people are scared they think it's all about going to open your whole stomach no kidney stones um there's a way there are two ways you can actually remove kidney stones there is a way that the um the surgical process where the doctors will just have to impute something through your penis and then they are seeing it they have a like a screen they are watching it the, you know put the thing through your penis and then dissolve for people that has plenty of kidney stone pieces it into bits so that you can urinate it out you know so this um surgical procedure doesn't take time even if it takes time sometimes in less than you can even go the next day there is nothing so much about it some people will also remove it it all depends this one that they pieces it out before you know it you're gone you you're you're discharged there is nothing the only thing is that you'll not be allowed to have sex for um a certain period of time okay so that you can heal okay after which you, re you resume your sex life however when you've removed kidney stones before because i hear people saying that the kidney stones that they remove is the, they are having your current kidney stone even after removal this is because you didn't know the kind of kidney stones you have and you didn't know what cost your kidney stones and if you know these types the kind of kidney stones you have what cost it it will help you to prevent it in the future now there are kidney stones that are calcium oxalates there are kidney stones that are called uric stones these are from meat and all of those things there's another kidney stone that is cystine kidney stone cerevite kidney stone find out the type of kidney stones you have and then your doctor will explain better for you things to avoid okay let's talk about um symptoms that you may be having kidney stone most people don't know that they are having kidney stones these symptoms sometimes mimic urinary tract infection but um you have to still go to the hospital to confirm okay number one is you're having fever number two is you're having difficulty passing urine number three you're passing urine sometimes there is blood in it the next one is your urine is painful and then it's cut short and then you have serious severe flank pain like back pain where your kidneys are it's as if they are on fire this pain the pain of kidney stone is equated to child birth so it is very painful so if you're having any of these signs i think you should go and get it checked because not only kidney stone it can be um cystitis it can be as a, um, as a result of infection of the kidneys it can be pyelonephritis it can be kidney stones it's also very important that those that have kidney stones will always you know go for checkup to find out where the kidney stones are for now okay so also very important for if you've done kidney stone those that do ct scan after doing kidney stone ct scan make sure that they give you normal saline to take they give you drip to help flush the dye out if not the pain will be serious okay 
so like this video share um let me know if you have any more questions my name is nosmeris